Yes, guys, this is AJ here from Just Teaching Stuff. I hope you guys are well. Guys, today I'm going to show you exactly how to create a coloring page using Leonardo AI really quickly. Get that size all sorted, put it into Canva, and it's all ready to go, man. Ready to go real quick. So, guys, I've logged into Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI. For those of you that don't know, just to understand the dashboard, is here you've got all the different elements we can get into. For example, image generation, where we're going to create our coloring pages. There's also other things like canvas editor where you can edit the size of the canvas and do other various things. Motion where it's a bit like it's a sort of video animated sort of uh, motion sort of imagery. And here you've got the real time generation. At the bottom you've got all these beautiful creations by some of the community that they've made. And it's really nice because they'll have the prompts on there as well. So you can actually see what they produce. Now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly now remember you can check out uh, Leonardo AI free access if you click the link just below there and just try it out. What's great about Leonardo AI, you get 150 tokens every single day so you can actually truly try it out. But if you are going to do lots of designs, then I suggest going on the subscription, which is very affordable. Anyways, let's get into image generation. So I'm on image generation now. And what we're going to do is we're going to pr produce a prompt. Now, there's a few bits that I just need you to just kind of have a look at. On the side panel here, on the left side, you've got how many images you want. I usually go for four. Do we want it photorealistic? Not really. Not really related. You've got the output resolution. You've got public images. You've got input dimensions. I like to keep at 768.1024, although I'm going to show you how to get it exactly right, as in 8.5 by 11 inches, um, once we uh, download it and we put it onto Canva so that we can uh, get it ready downloaded from there. Um, yeah, so that's all really you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a prompt that I've already got. Now, obviously, what I've, so what I've typed in is the outline of a parrot perched on a branch, perched on a branch in a white background. I would say on, on a white background. Okay, that should be okay. Uh, black lines, emphasizing the line work and the outlines, and then just saying grateful. Okay, so I've just pasted what really I've created. Simple prompt where i've written the outline of a parrot perched on a branch on a white background black lines so the emphasis on, on black lines and great for a coloring book again mentioning coloring book in my prompt so that they they understand that it's purely for for coloring the other thing i will do is you can see underneath the prompt they have various different um um like models and and sort of stylizations that they have which is they're really fantastic so you can also check out these. Um, I also, you can also see the dynamic ones where you've got different also stylizations, 3D rendering, sketch color, creative, cinematic, all of that doesn't really relate to me, but the elements one does. I wanna click on elements because this actually does relate because you've got some other element styles that they can give you. And obviously I think I'm gonna go for the coloring book style, okay? because that sort of adds another confirmation that this is the style that I need to do. So that's what you need to do with regards to coloring. Keep the size at 768 by 1024 um, pixels. We're gonna deal with that later. But once you've done that, you're gonna see that it will ask, it will tell you how many tokens it's gonna cost you to do this, which in this case is 32 tokens. Because with everything that you do, there is a cost. So if I've added the element, which is the coloring book element, that I've asked for, then it's going to cost. Um, and, and so that's how it kind of works. So I'm going to click on generate now and see what it comes up with. Okay, so you can see now that it's uh, generating the designs for me, which should be quite cool. You can see this is the prompt just above them written there. It's going to give me four different ideas for the prompt that I've chosen. Um, again, very simple style. You can see actually very simple styles for these, um, obviously, because the prompt that I've used was very, very simple. My target market or the, the this one is a very much a children's coloring book in terms of animals. That was the idea behind this. But obviously, and you can see also the aspect ratio is pretty good for, for a coloring page. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Now, the other thing you could actually do, which is quite amazing, is you could actually click prompt generation and also you can get other prompt ideas. So you could say um, parrot on a branch coloring page right coloring page or coloring uh, book and then if you click idea it's going to generate actually which is pretty amazing some really cool ideas um, that is added and some really good words possibly that you could use um, 
for your coloring pages uh, sorry for your coloring yeah for your coloring pages okay but do check these because some of them may not work so well you can copy and paste them in and try them out some of them might not work so so well so you do have to check it i i suggest that with your pump generation you need to kind of add a bit more sort of detail um still to it and then it can come up with some cool ideas so you know this this prompt generation is is quite good it gives you some it can produce lots of and lots of ideas for you you know this was four prompts you can always go for eight prompts if you want to try a or, or however many so quite, quite nice but let me go to generation history i just want to show you something really quickly so looking at my designs that i produce let's just go with this one for now obviously you can do a few things you can there's a few things to do like um remove background i don't need to do it for the coloring page you've got download and clipboard and again you can enhance and upscale here but i tell you what i like to do oh you do need to upscale but let's just take it let's take let's download this page and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do right now now remember in terms of sizing you know the size for um 8.5 by 11 inches is the size in pixels is 2550 by 3300 so what i like to do is i like to put everything in canva very quickly so what i'll do is i'll just jump onto canva and create a design okay i like to create a custom size so it's going to be 25550 25550 by 333300 I, I believe that is it let me just double check i don't want to make any mistakes not now <laughs> uh i mean yeah okay and then i'm going to create new design okay quite simple quite straightforward the good thing about this is in canva and look canva's fantastic check out link in my description um you can add all your pages in and then have it as one pdf now what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload my design very quickly of the parrot the parrot design there you go boom get the parrot get the parrot pick the parrot there you go now the beautiful thing is it's in proportion that's why i use that size look so you're not distorting it you're just stretching it from corner to corner but that's exactly what you need and what i'll do is i'll then add other pages for the other designs that i do now if i wanted to export it because um with a with a 300 resolution nice and clear i would go to download if i once i get all my pages in there i'll go to click png go to pdf which is um, best for printing go to pdf best for printing because Obviously, they're going to print out these coloring pages so that they can actually color on them. Um, so do best for printing and just go to download. This is going to be your PDF, um, which you have just uh, produced. Okay, so that's downloaded. All right, I'll go to my downloads. My PDF is there. And that will be my first page for my parrot. Like I said, what I would definitely do. Okay, so once you've got your image on here, you've stretched it all out beautifully. It's not distorted. It's stretched in, in proportion. Well, remember make sure that you've actually um upscaled back on uh on to um back on leonardo so do make sure that you've upscaled back in leonardo or with any software that you usually use to upscale um before you actually actually uh, download it okay um now remember on canva people some people now remember on canva some people either share it or download it as a pdf or as a j or, or as a png if it's a pdf best for printing is probably the best option for you but you can also download it as a png and also here you've got um more options with regards to sizing but i think the most important thing is make sure you've upscaled it and then you can also give options in terms of what file format you want the coloring pages to be um but yeah i like to put it into canva as soon as i've finished it um as soon as i finished designing it into um uh, designing it from leonardo ai and the reason for that is because i just want to make sure that the customer gets the exact size um and then also it's much easier to manage manage with regards to sizing so it's very easy to go to another page very quickly you can just go down to the next page and just literally it will have this template there ready for you and you can put all your color coloring pages together because obviously when you're going to be selling this you're not going to be selling just one coloring page you're going to be hopefully selling 30 40 50 or so of these but guys the other tip i want to just give you very quickly before i go is that let's say you want to sell it on a marketplace these coloring pages amazon uh or onto etsy remember please the most important thing you can do with whatever form whatever platform you're using is 
that you make sure that you're designing something that has some demand. So actually do your research before you actually do your designing. Go and have a look, something like the Etsy Marketplace. Go to something called Product Analytics where you can actually analyze and see how much these are making. Uh, check out the link in my description for Everbee, which is what I use to do this, which is fantastic. Make sure you're in the right niche. Then you start designing in the right niche so you can make that amazing passive income. But yeah, I've done lots of videos on coloring pages and books. Do check them out on my playlist so I can show you how you can find out some good and profitable niches. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I shall see you on the next one. Take care.